we're back for another boring review. Got almost the entire dream team here. We're just missing Adam. Um, but we are excited to check out the Witcher teaser trailer that was dropped at Comic-Con. Do you know anything about this? No. You? I believe it's a book, which means I haven't read it, so... <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Boy Reviews! <laughs> the book was better. So I, I did a little bit of research, and it's about eight or so books since the early 90s that's going to be adapted into this TV series, which I think is cool. And I guess Netflix wanted to do a movie, but one of their executives was smart enough to say, no, this is eight books, let's do an entire series. There's also video games, but this is basically just from the books. It's got Henry Cavill in it, which, you know, excites me. It's right. got, like, this crazy gray wig or whatever, and I got the grays, so, you know, we got that going on. But without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to hear stories about witches. Is it true what they say? Let's beat it up. Elves are the original sorcerers of the continent. Or the ring style. When humans and monsters arrived, elves taught humans how to turn chaos into magic. Ooh. And then the humans slaughtered them. That was an interesting chaos. Wow. It's the most dangerous thing in this world. Put some money into this. Without control, chaos will kill you. Awesome. So that's all life is to you. Monsters and money. It's all it needs to be. Jesus. So Jesus. This child will be extraordinary. Jennifer, imagine the most powerful woman in the world. Do you have what it takes? You know what? I'm excited for it. Honestly, Harry Cavill does not get enough credit. Everybody got so... He's, he called him Harry. <laughs> Henry. Henry Cavill <laughs> does not get enough ca uh, uh, credit. You know, he's a good actor. He's got a lot of range. I mean, forget about BBS. That was just bad writing. That was a bad movie, period. Ugh, BBS. But if you take the first Superman, if you take uh, The Man from UNCLE, which I think is still underrated. I love that movie, The Man from UNCLE. And then if you take a uh, Fallout, Fallout, okay, the Mission Impossible, where now he plays a bad guy, completely different than his other characters. I mean, he's got a lot of range. He's a great actor, so I'm excited for this. And well, it's the thing about this, I think, is this is going to be if this is successful, which it looks like it's. I mean, it looks pretty awesome. He's going to be able to use this as leverage in that DC deal, which is still kind of up in the air if they want to think about having him back as Superman, because that's the biggest thing is he wants to get paid like a star, and they don't want to necessarily pay him that much. What were your thoughts about this? I'd be interested to read the book. Since you said this yeah. is from a series, um, I'd be interested in how well it correlates with the actual book. So I think I think you might be buying some books off of Amazon. And not just that, but <laughs> Polish books. And it's always cool to, to read stories or to watch movies based on different cultures and you know continents and countries' uh, literature. But this looks cool. It's, it's going bananas right now on YouTube, over 12 million views. So we had to give it a try. None of us knew anything about it going into it. And I think we're all excited to check it out. I tell you what, Netflix is super smart because with the ending of Game of Thrones, right now there's like a, a void left for people that love these type of period pieces. And the fact that it's not a movie, but it's a series. Netflix does series well. I loved, absolutely loved their Marvel series with Jessica Jones. Daredevil was awesome, The Punisher. Um, what's another series? Oh, the uh, the Umbrella Academy. Oh, Umbrella Academy, Umbrella Academy. Academy. Awesome. Academy was awesome. It. Check it out. So the fact that they're going to give them time to flush out all these characters, you, I mean, they're going to do a good job. I'm, I'm absolutely sure of it. The only question now is, 
whether this is going to... I mean, it almost bothers me the fact that DC has not just said, okay, you're Superman, we're going to go ahead and, you know, write the check, all right? You already got rid of Ben Affleck. That's a big name attached to him, so... You get, give him the bag, as they say. Give him the bag. I, I think it's clear that they're just not going to do it. They're, they got a new Batman cast with Pattinson. And that could be based in an earlier time, but I just... They're all over the place. But I keep looking at this wig. I keep looking down because it's on our screen still. That hair looks awesome. It does. Every cat was growing up. And you know what? It reminds you a little bit of Game of Thrones. Daenerys yeah. with the white hair. So I think that's uh, pretty cool. For those of you that are new to the Born Review channel, these are some of the guys. This is Jody, Nick, Gabe... And we're just regular people, regular fans of books and movies and TV shows. And we started this channel just to, you know, for you regular people out there who are watching YouTube channel videos. But we this kind of stuff excites us. So check out our other content. And until next time, later. Adios. Smash that like button. Subscribe. See ya.